This is the DL50 fixture smart lock. This one's much easier to install than most of them. This fits over top of your current lock, your deadbolt, so you don't have to take it apart. So you give a little letter, says hello. Give you a man little manual, how to put it together, how to install it, how to set it up. So they do give you the 3M tape. They give you a little piece here that goes on your current lock to measure where this goes. So this goes down to the bottom of your lock and over top the knob. And then this goes up here. You want to make sure that this is going to not only fit and work, but it's in the right spot before you take this tape off. Because this stuff's pretty sticky. It's almost impossible to get off once you put it on there. Just make sure it's going to work. It's going to turn to where it needs to be. So they give you the Allen wrench and the screws, which goes on the side of that. They give you some different, here, let's get this out first. If you look at the lock itself. I said it, it just goes over top of your current lock. You can really put this any way you want. You can put this up this way, you can put it sideways, you can put it this way. However, it's going to fit on your door. It doesn't care. But you're going to put the batteries in it. So if you turn it upside down, it's going to be a little hard to do the batteries. They do give you a second piece of tape here. I guess they give you an extra one in case this doesn't work out and go where you need it. So you do have a replacement if you got to take this one off. But they give you this little piece on the inside here. This pulls off of here. So they give you this piece here and they give you two extra pieces. Which goes over your doorknob that you actually turn. Based on your size of your knob. They have different sizes. They have a round one here. This one is, these are about the same, but this other one, this one's a little taller. So you can see that. So you need to make sure you get the right one that fits your door the best. Because this is what's actually going to turn and unlock your door. And it basically just fits in here. Like I said, this just snaps in here. Oops, let's put it on the right side. And then this one, whatever you're going to use, just snaps in here as well. Your batteries go up here. This is a lock for the, for the, top so you can unlock it this slides off that's where your batteries go you are going to need uh, looks like four double-a batteries i thought they said six but i only see room for four they do give you some extra bushings here like if this doesn't quite fit right and you need to space this out a little based on where your lock is or how thick it is you do have to make sure that it's your knob that you're turning is an inch and a half or smaller. The one I have, I was going to use this on, was two inches, and it's too big for this. So I'm either going to have to put this on a different door, or I'm going to have to buy a new lock before I can install this. So they give you the screws here. Once you put the batteries in, and this goes on here, because this is what's going to mount to the door, then you're going to put this on here, you got screw holes on the sides here. That's where you use these little screws to put in each side here, which applies or attaches this to the door to make it work. And then they do give you the, and then you can manually turn this and unlock it or lock it from the inside if you need to. And then they give you the keypad. The keypad is totally separate. This lock works without the keypad. You don't technically have to put this on. Or use it you can actually put this kind of anywhere you want outside as long as it's close enough it makes a connection to this to work so it doesn't have to be just on the other side of the door you can put it up higher or down lower whatever like it might be easier to see this and use it if it's up eye level instead of down where the door is so it does it has 3m tape too it's got a little button there it says put like a pin i don't know if they give you the pin doesn't look like that way, but it does have a little hole there. It says open. 
I was looking at this. This is pretty shiny. So I'm betting that your fingerprints and stuff are going to show on here. So you probably need to be a little careful with that. So people don't see your code. Because your fingerprints are on there. Other than that, you download the app. And register on there and set it up to here. You're good to go.